One of the things I enjoy doing is correcting people who are cleverer than me when they say something about Germany or the German language that I disagree with. Now I realise this is probably one reason I don't get invited to many parties, but everyone needs a hobby, don't they? Anyway, this is about something that was said recently on the British TV show QI. For those who don't know QI, it's a panel show in which the obvious answer is usually the wrong one. A panellist who gives an incorrect answer that was predicted by the question setters loses 10 points. In this clip, comedian Josh Widdicombe willingly takes the bullet. What's the German phrase for the phenomenon of encountering your perfect double? Oh, you only live <laughs> once. Yeah. Let's enjoy ourselves. Yeah. Um, Doppelganger. Oh. Is it not German? Uh, it is German, but oh. it isn't a doppelganger. Oh. It's doppeltgänger Doppelt with a T. Oh. Both the words come from a German novel from 1796 called Flower, Fruit and Thorn Pieces, or The Married Life, Death and Wedding of Sipenka's Poor Man's Lawyer. <laughs> Sounds like a cracking read. <laughs> uh, he uses the word doppeltgänger with a T for your look-alike and doppelganger is the name of a meal in which two courses are served at the same time. <laughs> uh, is it though? It's plausible and not without precedent. After all, English speakers know that Schweinhund is a German word, but in actual fact, native German speakers are much more likely to say Schweinerhund. So it's reasonable to suppose that there's something similar going on here. But I've been living in Germany for over 25 years, and as impossible as it may seem, I'm told that I have a few lookalikes. Never have I heard anyone use the word Doppeltgänger to refer to them. I have also never heard of a two-course meal being referred to as a Doppelgänger. I mean, it's not ludicrous. The German word gang, after all, can mean the course of a meal, so it's possible. But I can find no reference to that meaning of the word anywhere. It's not, for example, on the German Wikipedia disambiguation page, which has doppelganger in the sense of a lookalike, but not in the sense of a meal. And in the entry itself, it states that Doppeltgänger is an older variant of the word, but that's all it says about it. The standard German dictionary Duden doesn't mention Doppeltgänger at all, and for Doppelgänger lists only the meaning of lookalike. And I have spent five whole minutes googling for Doppelgänger in the sense of a meal, and so far I have drawn a complete blank. The book mentioned by Sandy Toxvig does exist, and it does have Doppeltgänger. But that was in 1796. The German language has moved on since then. Incidentally, that book is normally referred to simply as Siebenkäs. Personally, I draw the line at book titles that take almost as long to say as it does to read the book. When the Brothers Grimm compiled their dictionary 50 years later, they listed the word as Doppelgänger, with a note giving Doppeltgänger as a variant. And they made no mention of food. So, in my opinion, Josh was unfairly docked points for that. It may be true that the word first appeared as Doppeltgänger, but it wasn't long before Doppelgänger became the usual form. I have never heard a German say Doppeltgänger, and I have never heard of a Doppelgänger meal. That said, we should probably give Sandy the benefit of the doubt for two reasons. First, she doesn't actually write the questions. I mean, she is exceptionally brainy, but nobody can be expected to know everything, and the show has a team of researchers known as the QI Elves setting the questions. And second, her native language is Danish, and I am very grateful to the Brothers Grimm for including in their dictionary entry the interesting fact that the Danish word for doppelgänger is dobbeltgänger. And yes, Google that word and you get a load of Danish web pages, including the Danish Wikipedia entry. So I think Sandy can be excused for not querying that one. But to the QI elves, I say, give Josh his points back. 
justice for Josh Widdicombe. To all the native German speakers who watch my videos, have you ever used or heard the word Doppeltgänger? And did you know that Doppeltgänger can refer to a meal with two courses served at the same time? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to send me a postcard, here's the address. And don't forget to visit my website and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Also, if you'd like access to special bonus content and help with the costs of running this channel, please consider making a small monthly donation on Patreon.